What's up boys? Today has been the worst day ever. Tried to go filming. The rocks were too wet and then I lost a leg to my tripod. So you guys are now propped up against some tires. Then, came home. Tried to film this video three times. Every time something went wrong. I finally filmed it. Everything went well. I uploaded it and the whole thing was in slow motion. Not only that, but when I plugged the truck in to do a test run, it went uncontrollably wild. All the wires got tangled in the axle and it ripped my ESC apart. I do have the clip, but it's in slow motion. I'll go ahead and put it here so you can watch. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to try and film this. If something goes wrong, you're just never going to see this video. This video is for the new chassis kit from WT Micro. This kit is made to fit, well, he's working on a body for it. I don't know if I'm supposed to show this or not. There you go. <clears throat> but it's made to fit. this toy body from Big Country Toys. You can get it on Amazon or just Google Big Country Toys F250. There's six screws in the bottom. Take them out. That comes off. There's two posts that are here. They need cut off to be make the bed flush back here. And then you need the Dremel out right here for the drive shaft. Other than that, the body's good to go. The windows are all removable. This whole grill bumper part's removable. Rear bumper's removable. Tailgate works. The bed comes off. Mirrors are rubber. They also sell a gooseneck that fits this body. In case you're interested, these wheels are DJ Crawler brand. They're on Amazon and they're oversized. They're 1.3 instead of 1 inch. The tires are BFGs from RC Four Wheel Drive. <clears throat> the chassis kit. Things you're going to need. You're going to need a hardware kit. You can get that from Mass Designs. Or Amazon. You're going to need links. These are just normal standard C10 links. You're going to need specific shocks for this. Injora 39mm oil shocks. They need to be those specific shocks because of how the rear is set up. You're going to need drive shafts. These are normal standard C10 drive shafts. There's a front, a rear, and then there's a middle one. So you'll need an extra drive shaft for in the middle. The way this is set up, it uses a second transmission mount back here to just act as like a spacer to carry on the drive shaft instead of having it run the whole way down through here. So I have 
I have this transmission gutted. It's basically just connecting one drive shaft to another. And then normal motor trans setup up here. The chassis kit will include, let me tell you the release date. Now this release date is coming from WT Micro, not me. July 15th. The chassis kit will include two metal rails and a bunch of 3D printed parts. The 3D printed parts, you'll get this front shock mount piece and it acts as a sleeve. It slides over the rails. The whole front end of this is assembled just like a normal SCX24. There's nothing special about the way the front is. And this is set up using stock axles and then I have hex extensions just to put the wheels out more for that hot boy look. Sliders. These attach just like any other WT Micro slider and the sliced edge goes towards the front. Like this one's straight up and down. That one's angled. That, that's the word I'm looking for. The angled edge goes towards the front. Skid plate has two trans mounts, motor mounts, and it is directional. Let me pull up his picture so we can see it better. Okay, this is the front and this is the rear. This one has more of a uh, slope right here and then this one has more of an extreme curve. And the, the part that that picture was showing is, what am I pointing at? Somewhere in here. Now, the rear. It comes with a, not with the ball, but a hitch mount for an axial trailer. This is the normal SCX24 trailer. So it can haul that. The hitch mount, four bolts, and it bolts to the magnet mounts. The magnet mounts attach to the rails. The rails uh, snap down into them and then a screw goes in them. The rear suspension, there's an upper and a lower spring bucket. The upper spring bucket just mounts to the rail and the lower spring bucket is like a clamp with this whole bottom piece here. So the lower spring bucket, one's on the other side of this and one's on the other side of this, clamping it to the axle. <clears throat> Before this is installed, you have to attach the links to the axle because you can't get to this bolt right here from this being in the way. So you need to first put on your links and then all this stuff. And you can just look at it to see how it attaches and works. These shocks come with three different springs and you can stack the springs if you want them stronger and they'll still fit in that spring bucket nicely. Just make sure they're pushed together nicely. This piece here is part of the kit and it's how you mount the body. Um, WT Micro includes two screws that bolt this piece to the body and then if you'll notice in there there's a slot this slides into the slot and then the rear has magnets that I didn't glue yet but they just are right below, right below here sliders line up perfectly
if you if you saw that I cut my bumper, that was my mistake. You don't need to cut the bumper at all. It still flexes well. I mean, it's not like a crazy crawler, but I think it could be good with certain with the right tires. No run test because I my ESC just got ripped into three pieces from the previous run test. I did take a clip of it hauling, so I might as well show that since I can't show you anything else. It did move at one point. This is compared to a C10 wheelbase. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. This chassis kit is awesome. I love it. And I hope you do too. Actually, I guess I don't care if you do. But it's a good product. All of his stuff is. WT Micro. Shirts available. www.24yup.com Thank you guys for watching. Peace!